She's gonna be awake right now. Hey Mountain Family, how's it going? So today Andy is two weeks old, so it's time to do her two week update. And I would hold her up to like show you guys her, but she's kind of cluster feeding and she has been all day. She will not get off my boob. So hopefully she'll get her belly full and later on I can actually, you know, show her to you guys. While we're on the subject of feeding, Andy is obviously still breastfeeding. She saw her pediatrician this past Friday and she still weighed the same, which is 7 pounds 4 ounces, as she did when she was discharged from the hospital. She didn't want me to supplement. She said no supplementing for one week. I just want to see how she does on just breast milk for one week. So that's what we've been... She unlatched. <laughs> so that's what we've been doing all week. And she has another appointment this Friday for another weight check. And most likely she's not going to gain anything. Or if she does, it won't be that much. I won't be surprised. I'm going to order the supplemental nursing system anyway. Because I know we're going to need it. Like, I just, at this point, I know. They told me when we did see her this past Friday that um, her newborn screen came back abnormal for carnitine. Which I knew it would. So I would rather be safe than sorry and just go ahead and supplement just in case. I mean, I'm just worried. I just don't want a repeat of Kenley and her not gain weight and be behind in milestones. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it anyway. <laughs> I almost forgot to add, um, breastfeeding doesn't make me super hungry. I don't develop a crazy, crazy appetite, but I am constantly thirsty. I mean, holy cow. It's like I cannot satisfy my thirst. I get a cup about I don't know, yay big. It's a big cup. I fill that thing up all the time in order to get enough fluid because I am just so, so thirsty. She's still a pooping machine. She has a dirty diaper every single time I change this kid. I kid you not. And we were settling into a routine, but she's two weeks old and she decided today that she just wanted to hit that two week growth spurt. So she's been nursing like crazy today. But before today, it was like every two and a half ish hours she wanted to nurse and she sleeps all the way through the night we have our last feed around one ish in the morning and she wakes up at nine ish the next day I'm not gonna lie I kind of like that I get my sleep and really the only reason that I know that much detail about her routine because let's just face it I'm not very good at remembering things I'm <laughs> just not uh, I downloaded this app called glow and no this isn't sponsored this is just an app that I found that works for me that I wanted to share with you guys so this is the app Glow Baby, and this is my favorite feature. You go to the feed section and it tells you which boob that your baby nursed off of last, which is my favorite part because that's what I tend to forget the most. And it also has a complete detailed list of their schedule, how long they slept, what their last dirty diaper was, how long they nursed. I mean, it's pretty comprehensive, and I really like that it's so easy to just flip through. And right here, it tells you their diapers, how many wet, how many dirty. I like that too. And it tells you how long it's been since you've last changed them. I just really like that it's so easy to use. And I thought that you guys would like that too. Some little like fun facts about her. She still sticks her tongue out whenever she sleeps. I still think it's the cutest thing ever. She's starting to have longer awake periods. They're not like super long, but first thing in the morning or late at night, she'll just be awake and she'll look around and it'll be for about 15-ish minutes and then she'll go back to sleep. But it's starting to happen like a couple of times a day, two, three times a day. She'll be awake and wanting to look around. And today it was actually more than just one or two times. It was like a good bit of the afternoon because she was cluster feeding and she did not want me to put her down so she was wide awake. Her umbilical cord fell off. It's still gooey in the center so I have to wait for that to dry up too but it is off. It went from being like it's not moving anywhere to off in like a few days. It was crazy. She's done nursing so I'll show you guys Miss Andy. See my clothes are still big on me. See how big this is? huge on me. This is the zero to three children's place sleeper and it's still pretty big. <laughs> as far as me and how I'm doing postpartum, I've lost more weight. I've lost about 
five pounds, so it's not like a whole lot, but, um, no, I lost six pounds, my bad, I lost one more pound this morning, anyway, not, but not a whole lot, I'm down 20 pounds, though, for my top pregnancy weight, so that's something, but I'm 174 now, and pre-pregnancy was 145, still got a little ways to go, but like I said in my last update, I'm not in a huge hurry to lose the baby weight, however, I do kind of miss working out, I miss the endorphin rush, I know that sounds, you know, crazy, like, who misses working out? I do. <laughs> I don't know. I just really do miss it. I'm still not sure when I'm going to pick it back up. I'm still not in any kind of hurry, but I do still miss it. I am still bleeding, believe it or not, but it's brown. It's old blood, so I expect that to be gone within the week. My back doesn't constantly ache anymore, but I am still getting those weird shooting, sciatic-ish, only worse pains down my legs. I mean, it's kind of random. It just kind of happens if I stand up sometimes. It's really strange. But at least the constant achiness is gone. Oh my gosh, can't even like tell you guys how relieving that is. Something new that has come up in the recovery process. I realized this week that I have something called a uterine prolapse. It's when your muscles get weak up there and your uterus falls into your vagina. It is the weirdest feeling in the world. It doesn't hurt yet. I read online that one of the symptoms is that it's painful. That's literally the only symptom I don't have is the pain. It doesn't hurt. It's just really, really weird weird when I go to the bathroom because it kind of feels like my insides are going to fall out. And it's making going to the bathroom, as in number two, really, really difficult. I thought in the beginning that it was because, you know, I just had a baby and she stretched muscles down there. And, you know, I thought that's what it was. It's not. <laughs> it's actually because I have a prolapse and my uterus is pressing against my pelvic floor, which is making it difficult to do that part of going to the bathroom. I am going to be seeing my OB about it very soon because it needs to be dealt with. It'll just have to be sometime next week because Dev and I are kind of in the middle of buying a new vehicle and trying to get out of this apartment because we found a new place that we're going to look at this week and we are kind of in the middle of trying to do all of that. So once the dust of that settles, I will have to see my OB and get this taken care of as soon as possible because it's really kind of freaking me out and I don't want it to get worse. Now I will show you guys my two-week postpartum belly. I'm going to have to do this really fast before Andy wakes up and needs me. But, oh, my strings. Okay, this is from the side with the clothes on. The side. Oh, please don't cry. Please don't cry. <laughs> She's looking like she wants to. This is with the shirt and the pants down. You can really see my hernia this week. Oh, she's gonna get mad. Oh no, okay. Oh no, please don't. Don't get too mad, I'm coming. You can really see my hernia. She's gonna be awake right now. See, I'm gonna have an awake period and I'm gonna look around. See what this crazy world is all about. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to follow me on social media, my links are down below. <laughs> and I will see you later in a new vlog. Bye guys! Bye guys!